Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my reading plans for November. Okay, who can believe we have two months left in the year? We're here, guys, we're here. This is the final stretch of 2021 before we get into the next year of reading. So I have lots of exciting reading plans for this month, some of which are quite seasonally appropriate, and we're about to get right into it. Beginning with the book club pick for my Patreon book club in November, we're gonna be reading The Witness by Nora Roberts. Every month my patrons get to vote on a book we're gonna read together, and for Nova, can you tell Halloween is coming? My haunted ring light is back. We're just gonna go for it so if I get weird lighting oh my gosh I don't know what it is because sometimes the ring light is fine and sometimes after I've been filming for a while it stabilizes but for whatever reason it likes to just like randomly change shades when I'm when I'm first starting sometimes I I don't know what the problem is if you're a tech expert and you can like tell me what my problem with see if you're a tech expert and you can tell me what my problem is, let me know. Um, but yeah, we vote on a book to read for November. The genre was mystery, and this is a romantic suspense. Daughter of a cold, controlling mother and an anonymous donor, studious, obedient Elizabeth Fitch finally let loose one night, drinking too much in a nightclub and allowing a strange man's seductive Russian accent to lure her to a house on Lakeshore Drive. Twelve years later, the woman now known as Abigail Lowry lives alone on the outskirts of a small town in the Ozarks. A freelance security systems designer, her own protection is supplemented by a fierce dog and an assortment of firearms. Apparently the local police chief finds her intriguing and I, I don't know, it sounds interesting. So we're going to be reading this in November, looking forward to that. Every month my patrons are also entered into a raffle and the winner gets to pick a book from my TBR that they want me to read and review. This month the winner was Anne and the book that she selected was The Flames of Albion by Jean Z. Menzies, also known as Jean Bookish Thoughts here on Booktube. This is her debut sapphic academic hope punk <laughs> novel, and uh, I, I bought it because I wanted to support her, but I've also been hearing really good things about it, and I'm excited to read it. Her very first self-published book, and this actually works out pretty nicely because I'd already been considering picking this for another video that I'm doing, a kind of sneak peek at more of the content you're getting from me in November. I'm currently working on a project where I'm reading five books that are popular on BookTok and pairing them with five books that are recommended from you guys in the comments of that video. I will link that video up above if you want to see it and like have suggestions for me for books that I haven't already done. But for November, the book that I'm planning to read for that project is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. And I had a comment on there saying this might be a good pairing because Atlas Six is a dark academia fantasy and Flames of Albion is apparently kind of a hope punk academia fantasy type thing. So I think these might be an interesting pairing. We've got like a dark academia and a hopeful academia, but they're both fantasies. So I think this will make for a really interesting video. So I'm planning on doing a vlog where I read these two books. Then I've got several other books I'm reading for read-alongs and book clubs. We are finishing up the Broken Earth trilogy read-along with The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. Definitely looking forward to this. The live show of this is going to be the last Friday night of November, so keep an eye out for that if you want to read along and come discuss with us. And we are also finishing up our read of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. The live show discussion for this one is going to be somewhere around the middle of the month on a Friday night. So again, if you want to read along and come discuss with us, we will be doing that mid-November. This month, Mara from Books Like Woe is going to be hosting the Blades and Bodice Rippers book club, and the book that she picked for us to read is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in the Magnus Chase series. It's got like Norse mythology, and uh, yeah, hopefully this will be a good time. We've got a middle grade. Lastly, for November, we're going to be bringing back the Indigenous Romance Read Along. We're going to be periodically doing this, and November seemed appropriate since Indigathon is happening. So you can join me and Michelle from Thor Wants Another Letter. If anybody's interested in joining us for the discussion, particularly Indigenous booktubers, we would definitely welcome you. But we are going to be reading Lovesick Braves by Pamela Sanderson. This is book two in the Crooked Rock series. Earlier this year we read book one and really enjoyed it and had wanted to continue so we're reading book two. Technically I think you can read these as standalones because each book follows a different couple. This one follows Esther and Theo. She's got a secret crush on him and 
maybe needs to work up the nerve to approach him. So that'll be fun. Then I'm doing a couple of buddy reads. One that got pushed back is I'm reading Ecstasia by Claire Legrand with Isabella from the Feminist Bookworm. We were originally going to read this in October and then things just got too busy. So we're going to be reading this in November instead. This book is from one of my favorite authors. It's a new YA horror novel she has coming out that involves like a cult and witches and magic and stuff, which I think is going to be fun. This comes out in late February. Then me and my friend Leanna from Leanna's Library are going to be rereading one of our favorite books of all time. We both love this book. This is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I'm so excited and November is the perfect month to be reading this and be cozy. Then I have some books that I'm going to be reading for review. First up we have Mistletoe Season by Michelle Major. This is a holiday romance set in the small town of Magnolia, North Carolina, where she's written a lot of books. I've generally really enjoyed the books that she's written in this series, and so I'm looking forward to all of the holiday romances. I'm starting to read some now, and it's been really fun, so I'm going to be reading that. This was sent to me for a review from a PR company, so thank you so much to them. Then a book that I had on Neck Alley, and this came out a couple months ago, I ended up buying a finished copy because I didn't realize how long it was going to be, and I kind of hate reading long books digitally, like on a on a Kindle. So I'm going to be reading Requiem of Silence by L. Penelope. I have really loved this series. I think it just keeps getting better. And this is the fourth and final book in the series. So I'm definitely excited to read it. But it is well over 500 pages long, which is why I bought a physical copy. So I'm gonna read this one in November. Then I've got a couple books by indie authors for review in November. First up is Winterset Hollow by Jonathan Edward Durham. This sounds really interesting and is actually a nominee for the Bram Stoker Prize for first horror novel. It just sounded really interesting. It's kind of a genre blend that sounds really eerie and like the kind of thing that might be right up my alley. It follows a group of friends who go to a place that inspired their favorite book about a tribe of animals preparing for their yearly end of summer festival, but it turns out to maybe not just be fiction and things get kind of deadly. So... Yeah, I don't know. This sounded really interesting. So thank you to the author for sending me a copy. I'm going to check this out and let you guys know what I think. The other one is an audio review copy I'm going to be listening to. I might get to it by the end of October, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to put this on my November TBR because I feel like it's probably going to be the case that I'll listen to this in early November. This is Stones of Light by Zach Argyle. You might remember last month I had read Voice of War, which is the first book in his self-published fantasy and I really liked it a lot and I'm excited to read the second one. He kindly sent me another review copy for the audiobook and the narrator is fantastic so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this and seeing what happens. The final physical book that I'm officially going to put on my TBR is an arc of a book coming out in January. This is Real Easy by Marie Rutkowski. It is her adult debut and it is a dark thriller, which sounds really interesting. I've enjoyed reading Marie Rutkowski. She's mostly written YA fantasy and now a dark adult thriller. So uh, really interested to see how this goes. Then I do have some neck alley titles that I'm planning on getting to this month. It's possible that one or two might roll over from my October TBR as well, but one that I definitely plan to get to in November because it's coming out in November is Gilded by Marissa Meyer. This I'm really excited for. It is her return to fairy tale retellings, and this one is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin that sounds very interesting, an interesting take on it. And then I'm also hoping to maybe read a couple of the books that I have for December. Those include The Big Reveal, by Jen Larson. This one is a contemporary romance with a plus size heroine. The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. This is a queer YA paranormal romance with vampires. And The Righteous by Renee Adier. This is the third book in the Beautiful series, which is set in 1800s New Orleans with vampires and now fae and werewolves and other things. And I'm definitely looking forward to this and excited to see where it goes. Hi guys, editing Bethany here. I realized that I forgot to put a book on this TBR. I am also going to be reading The Hogfather by Terry Pratchett. This is part of the Discworld series and uh, it's, it's kind of his holiday book. I'm going to be reading it in preparation for recording a podcast episode with Leanna and Alan from the Library of Alexandria at the end of November that's going to go up in early December for Chapter 3 podcast, which I'm excited for. So that is one book I forgot to add on here. 
I will be reading that in November as well. Okay, so that is it. Those are the books that are officially going on my TBR for November. We'll see what I can get to and how it goes, but I'm excited. There's a lot of really good books on deck. I've also been having a fun time getting to reread some of my favorites this fall. That's been really nice. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on any of the books I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, tell me about a cozy book that you're hoping to read. This could be like a fantasy or whatever's cozy for you really, like whatever makes you want to like cuddle up with a hot drink and a blanket, like a book that feels cozy that you're excited to read in November. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.